Hello, everyone. This is uh, not going to be the most professional live stream. And I think if I look, uh, if I looked correctly, um, looks like I tried to go live a minute ago. And so I'm not really used to doing this off of my phone. I know um, most of you usually join me uh, from my desk. So I'm going to see if anybody pops on here and <laughs> see uh, what y'all are doing. So I know I have, okay, I have one viewer. It's probably my husband. <laughs> so we'll see uh, what's going on. Um, I'm going to pull up some comments here so I can see if anybody says hello. Please say hello to me so that I know that you're here. And um, this is the end of, hi, Lori. Hi, Raylene. How are you? How is everybody? Pamela, hello. It's really late here. <laughs> hi, Jenny. It's, um, oh, what time is it? I don't know. It's, we're closing in on midnight here. Hi, Jenny. I wish you were here too. Um, Shannon, hi. We're going to be super chill, super laid back, not very long. Hi, Dora. Hi, Tanya. Hey, girl. Uh, it's about midnight here. Hi, Carolyn. Usually not a commenter from Illinois. The hair, you know, the hair is a little, I got it cut and, um, all those groovy, like sort of red highlights, um, that I had, they cut, got cut off obviously, cause they were a couple years old. So it's gone. Um, but I'm feeling really liberated with the, the short hair. Hi, Jenny. I wish you were here too. Uh, we know how to remedy that, don't we? Um, sorry keep smacking my lips and saying, um, it's been a long day. Holy cow. Incredible. Today was, so yesterday, uh, guests started to arrive and I'll take any questions you have about the trip. And today was our, our first, um, first flea market day. So we went to a local market, uh, like a neighborhood market, not really one of the big ones. And I have to tell you, it was, it was so fun and just, I know a lot of you have been along on this ride with me as far as um, creating this concept and deciding to, you know, bring the Parisian back into Parisian Farm Girl and do these trips. And it's so been so incredible. These women are amazing. And what they've done to get here is amazing. Hi, Alyssa. Oh. And how much this trip means to them is amazing. Um, um, try not to be too emotional. We just got back from dinner. Like I said, it's almost midnight here. We had dinner at this incredible restaurant, restaurant uh, Bouillon Racine, and it's this Art Nouveau uh, bistro. I mean, the whole thing is Art Nouveau. The ceiling, the walls, the tile, all the windows are like these huge, thick, beveled windows. Just incredible. Um, if you've ever been there, let me know. Uh, I had reservations for another place made um, and just changed this a few weeks ago based on something I saw on Instagram. I saw a picture of this restaurant. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to take people there. So who wants to see? Uh, I'll just kind of take you around. Um, I'm just, I don't have a selfie stick or anything like that. So Art Nouveau. Oh, Alyssa, just make it make a comeback. You just bring Art Nouveau back yourself, girlfriend. This is my hotel room. Really, really sweet. This hotel is phenomenal and I'm going to show you more of that I have no complaints whatsoever about this hotel We've got those chic Parisian windows um, and here we are we are smack uh, dab in the fifth so well, this is like left bank living at its finest everything's really quiet here getting quieter I'll turn you around this way Oh, let's go this like this. There we go. So, got the balcony, the coveted Parisian balcony. This is our hotel right here. So, Hotel Lutes. What is the temperature? Well, <laughs> we've had a little bit of rain and it's um refreshing. Let me tell you that. It's uh, it's not too bad. I don't really care cuz I'm warm-blooded myself, but uh, today, let's see, can you see what I have on? You should see what I have on, actually. I went shopping today. Uh, <laughs> Ravonda, was that a typo? Hey girl, how are you? I want to show you this. Look at this green, ooh, green satin skirt. Really cute. 
and cute little like Chanel inspired sweater. Uh, no masks, girlfriend, no masks, no nothing, no, nothing like that. No, no, I have a lot of people asking, like a lot of people um, ask about like uh, the European countries, are they open? They're open, they're wide open. It's like nothing ever happened. I mean, as a tourist, that's what, there's no masks, you're all good. Um, hold on, I, I'm not really that familiar with YouTube Live on my phone, so you're gonna have to forgive me while I navigate this, okay. Okay, there's no riots, there's no riots. <laughs> there, there's protests, I'm gonna say this again, in love, I'm teasing you. Um, yeah, a little, there was some racket yesterday, uh, but here's what they do, they're, they're French, so they do it civilized, um, if you will. They, they have to announce where they're going to protest, they have to announce what time they do it, they have to announce what street it's on. Uh, so, funny story. Um, we were by the conciergerie today on our way, uh, to a favorite shop of mine. I'll show you what I bought. Awesome. I bought a green, you guys, I sold out. You know, I'm always dogging like people that wear sweatpants, but I did buy a Kelly green track suit today. It's so cute. It's super cute. I'm going to do my best not to look frumpy and dumpy in it. I don't really like sweatpants. I cannot believe the amount of sweatpants on the airplane on the way over shocking shocking can we just dress to travel would that be so bad um but we were over by the conciergerie today gosh i cannot see these comments i know you guys are there you keep disappearing and uh i said amelia is with me she's uh, working as my assistant uh this week and um i said well that's like a lot of police fans I wonder if something's going on. And I forgot today was the vote. And uh, so then we got to our favorite store. And the closer we got to our favorite store, um, I said, oh, rats, it's closed. Because I saw, like, brown over the windows. I forgot my glasses. So it looked like brown paper over the windows like we do in the States when something is closed. And then the closer we got, I, th I saw, oh, crap, that's plywood. It's right by the Hotel de Ville. Um, and so we went in and we were shopping and then we're in the dressing room and we hear like this like drums, like, you know, like Aztecian virgin sacrifice drums. They're just like rocking out out there. And sure enough, there's a protest. And we I look out the door of this uh, boutique we're in and there's like 50 policemen in front of the door. It was no big deal. They were there for about five minutes. They banged their drums and then they left. It's sort of over. So... I just have been saying this whole time, like what you guys see on TV, like that's the news doing their job. Like that's what they do. <sighs> Let's see. Jenny, I am not putting you in, you in time out. Jenny Hughes, I'm not. Uh, if it's saying that, sorry, this is me being stupid about how to manage comments on this. Um, I want to see your comments. They keep disappearing. Welcome to live chat. Okay, remember to guard your privacy. Okay, thank you, YouTube. Sorry. You guys say something else because you keep going away. I don't know. I don't get it. Um, so that was funny. Anyways, there was like a little demonstration today and it's no big deal. The garbage is gone. The protests are gone. Riots, I think is a really strong word. I mean, that is just not, uh, it's not like what we have in the States at all. So it's all good. Um, oh, thank you, Tanya. <laughs> what a nice thing to, what a nice thing to say. Fake media, word, fake media. I mean, they got to get ratings. They got to pay the bills, right? We know how that goes. The room, it, it's actually really spacious. I mean, I've been in some pretty tiny Parisian hotel rooms. And to me, it's a good size for, don't mind our mess. It's the end of the day. Okay, thank you, Jenny. It's just so weird. I Forgive me. I don't know how to do YouTube on my phone. You want to see my loot? Who wants to see my loot? Because... Okay, look, I did bring four empty suitcases with me. So today I'm at the flea market and I'm panicking over buying these copper pots and I forgot my little handy dandy scale. So I did bring a scale for my guests. Where is it? You know, one of those um, luggage scales so they could weigh their bags and know how to distribute the weight to bring their goodies home. And of course I forgot to bring it to the market today. Okay, I'll show you the wallpaper up close. This. 
hotel has the most fabulous wallpaper. Um, you should see the hallway going down to the basement cave. There's like a caved stone room where we're eating breakfast every morning. And the breakfast is incredible. Uh, you know, in the States, you get like some janky continental breakfast with three day old stale English muffins and Fruit Loops. This is amazing. <laughs> It's meat, it's freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, espresso, coffee, three different types of cheeses, croissant, croissant. Uh, oh my gosh, just on and on. It was amazing. All right, can I turn you around? Hmm, I can. All right. Don't mind my mess. It's like receipts and chaos. You know how it is to travel. Here we go. All right. So I have Fruit Loops. I'm right, true dot Lavender Fields Fruit Loops. Fabulous little. Um, hi Oklahoma. Okay, you're commenting again. That's great. Okay. Uh, street sign. Of course, I'm like stocking up on Codely because aside from tubes, Codely is my favorite skincare. I have this beautiful nude. I love her. She's gonna go in my bathroom. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lori. Ivanhoe, a Francais. Look at this beast. Okay, Kara's obsessed with Caudalie. Yeah, good girl. It's amazing, amazing. Um, let's see. Little pins. This is what you think it is. This is a huge. Uh, okay, here we go. Caudalie. This. That brand right there, uh, you can buy it online. You can buy it at uh, Neiman Marcus, or you can just get it at the plain old pharmacies here in France, which is wonderful. Tons of little leather books. Again, this is just our first market, and this is more of like a garage sale flea market. So I am taking my guests to, um, don't show Shay this. Look what I got for Shay. Don't show her. Um, I'm taking my guests to three different styles of markets. More leather books, okay? Friends, we look at these books. Oh my goodness. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this. Little thimbles. So sweet. Sweet little thimbles. And then these are like these little chocolate cards. I love ephemera so much like this look at this guy you know i'm learning to oil paint so this really meant a lot to me this card somebody was working out their color theory on this card you know i have a barometer collection and sweet story this little market that i went to today i stumbled upon 18 years ago just as a flea market novice and i bought my first french barometer little tiny black scrolly one that you've seen in my conservatory and then I found this one here today at the same market all those years later so they're not twins but they're very close you know I need more dishes like I need a hole in the head but I loved that uh, look at this this is gouache at first I thought it was watercolor but I'm thinking more that it's gouache and like, hello, can we live here? Look at that. So sweet. Nice signage there. Really, really sweet. I love it. Okay. This is the big um, fish fish poacher it's huge I mean it's a good 24 inches and it has the tray and the price I got it for is criminal like criminal um okay I'm gonna try to hold these up and hold my phone with uh oh Joelle I will be in Centoin on Sunday that would be lovely okay I do have a guest here um, that lives in Normandy. Actually, one of my tour guests lives right here in France, which I think is super cool. Okay, pardon me while I dig all these out. Five 
copper pots don't need to be retinned. They weigh a ton, but I actually uh, weighed them all together and they only weigh like 15 pounds. So they will be able to go in my suitcase. Again, pardon the camera work. It's just uh, me and my left hand here. <laughs> Boy. Oh, I love, it's my pleasure, Shauna. I'm so happy to share. I'm just so happy right now. This is just so, it's incredible to have something so many years in the making, a passion of mine. I love this city. I, let's see, I'm going to try to turn you around before you have to see more of my messy hotel room. <laughs> it's a like clothing explosion. I did buy some fun clothing. Let's see. I got a scarf. I love scarves. You know that. This beautiful thing. I think it's so pretty. I got the jacket that I'm wearing and uh, the fabulous green satin skirt that I wore to dinner tonight. And yes, I did wear it with creamy white winter tennis shoes. Creamy winter white tennis shoes because when in Rome, not clopping around two miles in high heels. I love the green skirt too. I kind of squealed when I saw it. I had to, you know me, I get a little excited. I had to contain myself. And the scarf, I, it's been really fun to visit stores that I just really, really enjoy. Dishes, barometer, scarf. Yeah, fabulous. And the whole stash only weighed 35 pounds. So I'm doing the math and I'm thinking like, how much more loot can I bring home? Because at the last minute, I went on Air France and I bought room for two more suitcases. Sorry, is that scooter too loud outside? So, um, so I have four full-size checked bags that are empty and just full of bubble wrap. And, uh, right, right, Jenny? Um, so that's like, you know, I can bring 200 pounds of loot home is the way I look, <laughs> look at it. So I wanted to just pop on and say, hello, can you just send some of it in a prepaid box at the post office? Uh, Alyssa, I don't know, I love the Paris noises too. I've been sleeping with the windows open because I just want to hear the racket. I love it. I'm in a country girl. I love my quiet life with my cow. But Paris, I mean, um, hi everyone. Hi, Julie. Hi, French country love. What was I saying before? I have four, four uh, suitcases now, so. But Paris, right? The more loot, the better. So today uh, was just a little neighborhood market, and um, it was, you know, it's the kind that has, just has fruit and Thank you, Alyssa, prepaid fruit and vegetables and then a brocant in the center. So Amelie got like this baller leather jacket and his beautiful book, Beethoven's music, sheet music. Um, so she can play with, uh, play the piano. It's, I can't even talk, you guys, I'm so tired. Beethoven piano pieces, hello, in a book, marbleized, gorgeous. Um, prepaid boxes. I don't know if they have prepaid boxes. I have actually never been to the post office here in Paris. So I know at saint ouen on Sunday, there is a shipping company right, right there. I don't want to have to ship anything home. If I ship anything, it's going to be like dirty clothes. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, I do have somebody that lives, that's on our group with us that lives in Ohio. And she said, if I want to send anything home with her, cause she has an empty suitcase and um, she, some of the guests, they don't want to do all three of the markets. They're just like asking for suggestions for what to do with their free time. So that's been really fun to, it's been really fun to help people plan their free time. Like, I can't tell you how much fun that's been. So, uh, she offered to like take some stuff home and then use one of our prepaid boxes stateside. I mean, the, to get an extra suitcase from Air France was $70. $70 for 50 pounds shipping from Paris, you know, like it, it seemed like a pretty good deal. So the copper pots were, I got a really good deal. So the copper pots were, um, 
they were 190 euro so right now it's 87 cents uh for every euro you spend no for every how does that work it's worse we're, we're in the deficit. Like, we're, we're the ones taking it right now. So, um, nonetheless, it was, uh, they were 190 euro. I paid 170. But then he came down half on the, uh, on the fish poacher. Gave me, like, the thimbles and all the chocolate labels for free. He just kept, once he saw I was serious about the copper pots, he just like kept coming down and offering stuff, you know, and it was noon. They, they want to be done. This market happens every single day and they don't want to take stuff home. They got to go the next day. They don't want to pack up the same crap, and bring it back. So, so this is a fun neighborhood market. Tomorrow we're going to Vomf, which you've seen my video, hopefully here on YouTube about Vomf. It is my favorite. So we're kind of going small, medium, large, um, as far as flea markets go. Um, and I'm going to tear it up tomorrow it's going to be raining and I told the group I said this is a rain or shine market and I'm a rain or shine kind of girl so like I'm going <laughs> I'm so excited to go to this one um and I'm gonna bring my big suitcase not my uh carry-on and I just lug it around like a dork I don't care and it's full of bubble wrap and I gave everybody a tape measure and I'm gonna bring my scale I won't forget my scale today um and it's going to be great. This The treasures that these ladies found today, one guest found Jane Eyre in French. An old Jane Eyre in French. I'm like, holy cow, that's amazing. I scored three copper pots yesterday. Recently retinned. See, that's why I bought these. I figured 170 euro for five pots. And they're perfect. They don't need to be retinned. Petra, I'm telling you, Somebody asked me about that, if I was, like, arranging a container for people. And I might have to do that. I mean, I really do hope that this trip gets more and more popular. Um, and then if we need to rent a container as a group and and bring it, you know, ship stuff home, that'd be great. Sorry, ladies. I, like, I just, like, we got home from dinner. And I realized, oh, my gosh, I haven't gone live for YouTube yet. So why don't I... Uh, yeah, Jane Eyre in French, Jenny. Can you imagine? She's, she said something, you know, this little, you know, we're talking, visiting, and she came up to a table where I was negotiating with one of the vendors, and she said, I heard the words Jane Eyre in French. And I said, where is it? She goes, it's in my suitcase. I'm like, oh, gosh. Okay, well, good move. I'm happy for you. Okay, I'm going to uh, take you outside. I got to... I got to, uh, I've got to go to bed. <laughs> Tomorrow's an early day. I'm up in like six hours for this market. I'm gonna show you the street one more time. There it is. Okay, so for those of you that know Paris, we are, the Rue Mouffetard is right down there. So just right down there, which is just dreamy. I mean, I try to explain to my guests, like this is a world famous street. Uh, for those of you who have, have seen the movie Amélie, which I named my daughter after, you know, that scene where uh, the gentleman, it's almost midnight, Julianne, um, and I have to get up at six. So that scene, and I got to get my face off. Time to use that Caudalie skincare. The scene where he goes and buys a roast chicken and like likes to rip it apart on Sundays. He buys that roast, roast chicken on the Rue Mouffetard. It's probably a 12 foot wide cobblestone street that... Um, is just loaded with fromagerie and like pasta stores and fresh bread. I saw a black baguette yesterday. It was incredible. It just, it's just, I don't even know. It's like this 16th of a mile stretch that is so dreamy. You're like, do people really live like this? This is where these people buy their weekly groceries. Incredible. No wonder they're inspired and in creating beautiful food and, so, all right. Sorry, loud. In theory, I'm supposed to go over and go live on Instagram. Yeah, it's time for an Amelie rewatch for sure. I haven't seen it in years. I don't know if I have the energy to do that. So, um. 
sorry. Oh, Ravonda, I want you to shoot me an email. I know you email me sometimes. Talk to me about like how much that costs. So, um, I used to be a part of the choir at the church down on Rue Muftar. Okay. Uh, speaking of church, we went to a concert the night before last at Saint Julien le Pauvre, and it was amazing. That was terrible pronunciation, by the way. Um, Vivaldi, like being played live. We heard autumn and winter just 20 feet from us. There was a soprano who did some Mozart pieces. It was incredible. Um, somebody just asked about breakfast tomorrow. Maybe you want to ask me again. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so tired. Uh, so it's not going to work live for me to go live from the markets because that will be the middle of the night for you. So do watch over on Instagram because we are going to be sharing. I'm going to try to put a reel together tonight. Maybe while I'm in the bathtub, I'll put a reel together of today and uh, keep showing you what's going on. And then I'm just going to have to go live at the end of the day because lives will end up being like two in the morning your time or something. So that Dieter in the blue is beautiful. This is what we're talking about. Oh, you guys wanted to see the wall. Oi, the wallpaper. The wallpaper is like Pemberley meets the Pantheon, isn't it? Look at that. That reminds me of Pemberley. And that reminds me of the Pantheon. Oh, now everybody's texting. <laughs> it is an Amelie. She's been so helpful. She's just my little admin. She's my little helper. She's amazing. And she gets to come to Paris, so it must be tough. All right, um, I gotta go. I know I'm not um, formulating all my thoughts properly and uh, it's time for me to go to bed. So I'm gonna find some treasures and be sure you're following over on Instagram. And yes, Julie, uh, Amelie is trying to video what she can. Um, uh, I think I have some video of me bargaining with vendors on some of the things on YouTube already, but yeah, bargaining's my favorite. I love the vendors. They're so fun. And thank you so much, Jenny. The camaraderie between them, that's my favorite part about tomorrow's market is because it's such a beautiful, um, like, neighborhood atmosphere. It's these tree-lined streets, and the vendors know each other, and they, they all have this camaraderie, and you get to sort of be a part of that. So tomorrow's my favorite market, and I'm hoping to have a great time. My guests, I think they're having a great time. Everybody seems so happy. I'm so, I feel so blessed that they're all so happy. We just had a great dinner and they're all asleep. So they probably think I'm crazy for being awake. So I'm going to sign off. Make sure you are following over on Instagram because I'll put some other stuff on there that gets like refreshed more than YouTube can. And maybe, hopefully, I will hop on again tomorrow night. Okay, uh, I got to figure out how to sign off of this. And I'll see you later. Ciao.